The underlying cause of a lot of low back problems is myofascial trigger points within the gluteus medius muscle. Trigger points, more commonly known as muscle knots, contribute significantly to low back pain through muscle imbalances, pelvic instability, and altered movement patterns. Addressing these trigger points through exercises and targeted treatments can help alleviate low back pain and improve overall function. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. The gluteus medius is a crucial muscle in the posterior hip and plays a key role in stabilizing the pelvis during activities such as walking, running, and standing. When trigger points develop in this muscle, they can cause referred pain to other areas, including the lower back. And the reality is that a lot of people who experience pain in the low back region actually have problems within their gluteal muscles. Trigger points are hyper irritable spots within a tight band of muscle fibers. These points can cause pain not only at their specific location, but also in distant areas. For the gluteus medius, the referred pain often manifests in the lower back, hip, and even down the leg. This pain referral can mimic or contribute to the perception of low back pain. Treating these trigger points in the gluteus medius is crucial to resolving persistent low back problems. Untreated trigger points can lead to muscle imbalances causing other muscles in the lower back and pelvis to compensate. Over time, these compensatory mechanisms can lead to increased stress and strain on the low back muscles as well as the lumbar spine. In addition, the gluteus medius plays a vital role in maintaining pelvic stability. Trigger points in this muscle can weaken its function, leading to pelvic instability. This instability can cause the lower back muscles to work harder to maintain proper posture and balance. The end result is muscle fatigue, muscle strain, and overall worse pain. To address these trigger points and alleviate low back pain, we need to focus on both stretching and and strengthening the gluteus medius. So today I'll show you two effective stretches and two powerful exercises that target this muscle. First, let's start with two stretches that can help release tension and alleviate pain in the gluteus medius. The first is a 90-90 glute stretch. Start by sitting on the floor, bend both knees to create 90 degree angles with each leg. Ensure you're sitting upright. Then gently lean forward from your hips, moving towards your front thigh. You should feel a stretch in the back of your hips where the gluteal muscles are located. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds and then repeat on the other side. Do this twice on each side. Another highly effective glute stretch is the pigeon pose. Start on your hands and knees. Bring your right knee forward and then bend it so that your right ankle is near your left hip. Keep your left leg straight behind you. Lean forward over your right leg and try to place your forearms on the floor. You should feel a stretch in the back part of your hips. Hold this for 30 seconds and then switch sides. Do this twice on each side. Next, let's use self-massage techniques to further release the trigger points in the gluteus medius. The first way to do this is with a foam roller. Position yourself like in this picture with the foam roller under your glutes. Roll back and forth and pause on any tender spots for 20 to 30 seconds. The goal of foam rolling is to help release muscle tension, improve blood flow, and reduce pain. The other way to do this is with a tennis ball or a massage ball. Place the ball under your glutes while sitting on the floor. Lean in into the ball, moving your body to find and press into any tender spots. Hold pressure for 20 to 30 seconds and then move on to the next area. Finally, now let's move on to two strengthening exercises. Remember, a strong gluteus medius is essential for maintaining pelvic stability and reducing compensatory strain on the lower back. Trigger points often form because the muscle is weak, so these strengthening exercises are critically important in fixing the root cause. The first exercise is the clamshell. Begin by lying on your side with both your hips and knees bent. Keep your feet together. Then raise the top knee as high as possible without moving your hips or pelvis. Pause for a moment at the top where you feel maximum engagement in your glutes and then slowly lower the knee back down. To increase the difficulty, consider using resistance bands around your thighs just above the knees. Perform two sets of 15 repetitions on each side. The second exercise is the side lying leg raise. This focuses on hip abduction, which is great for enhancing hip stability and balance. 
balance. Lie on your side with your legs straight. Raise the upper leg while maintaining a straight line with your body. Aim to lift it about 45 degrees, hold it briefly at the top, and then gently lower it back down. Perform two sets of 15 repetitions on each side. By incorporating these stretches, self-massage techniques, and exercises into your routine, you can effectively address trigger points in the gluteus medius and alleviate low back pain. Lastly, if you're looking for more ways to relieve low back pain, be sure to check out my five minute low back stretching routine. Adding this stretching regimen to treating the gluteus medius is an effective way to keep your back feeling great.